Yeah, so hello everybody. So this is the R1 bot designed by the team of NIT to Hurgapur. And the, this is the ground. This is the ball rack. So initially three balls are stored in this ball, ball rack. So we have designed our ball picking mechanism in a way that it will pick all the three balls at a time. So here we are using the bubble acting pneumatic cylinder. And here we are having a sliding bars. So the cylinder is attached with one part of the bar and the piston is attached with the other part of the sliding bar and one side of all the three grippers are attached with the sliding bar so we can move one side of the grippers in this way and in that way we can uh, gri grip all the three balls at a time then after uh, gri gripping all the three balls we will pick the balls in this way and then we'll uh, re release the balls into our slope. So here we are again using a two uh, bubble acting pneumatic cylinder and it is being controlled by a five by three way hull. And we are operating the five by three way hull using compressed air and we are storing the compressed air in this storage. So now here one thing to note is that we have designed our reapers in a way that it is curved down. So the balls will not fall down, but on the upper side it is open. So the balls can slide from the upper end. So in that way, we'll be able to uh, drop the balls in our slope easily. So we'll drop the balls in this way. So we have dropped the three balls at a time in this slope. Then these balls will slide down here. As you can see over here that the exit of the slope is designed in a way that only one ball can slide at a time and in this part of the slope only one ball will be there at a time and here we are using a gate gate one and it is being controlled by the servo over here so because of this gate the balls will accumulate over here so we will operate the uh, servo uh, to open and close the gates in this way so after opening the gate, the ball will slide down. And after the ball slide down, we'll again close the gate. So only one ball can slide down. Then, then in this loop, this ball one will again slide down. But then uh, this one will be again stopped by the gate two over here. Here will be using a laser and LDR to de detect the presence and the absence of ball. So like here on one side, we'll be having a laser light and on the other side, we'll be having LDR. So uh, if the laser light falls on the LDR, then the ball is absent. And if uh, the la laser light is obstructed by the ball, then, then we'll de detect th that the ball is present over here. So in that way, we'll de de detect the uh, presence and absence of the ball. And in that way, we'll automate the opening and the clo closing of the gate. And here, as you can see over here, that this slope on the other end of this slope is open so that uh, here the R2 bot can align and pass the balls from R2 to R1. And while uh, passing the balls from R2 to R1, we'll open all the gates of R1 so that the balls from R2 can pass accordingly. And in the absence of R2 bot, the balls from here will slide down into the container and it will shoot the balls in that way. So for the balls uh, to move into the shooting zone, we'll have to open the gate 2 as well. In this way, we'll open the gate 2 and the ball 1 will fall in the container in this way. Then we'll again close the gate 2 then the ball 2 will also slide down after opening the gate 1 in this way. Then, then here for the shooting zone, we are having a camera 
mounted over here and a uh, header sensor. So the camera will try to bring the opponent's ball towards its center and in that way it will move. Camera will move in that way and here in this way it will move to bring the opponent's ball in the center of the camera and the LiDAR sensor will measure the slant height means the slant distance between the opponent's ball and our bot. So after and then and uh, this uh, here we are using a stepper and a bell drive to move the putting platform and Aster uh, wheels uh, for equal uh, distribution of the load. So here, after reaching the required uh, position, we'll have to sh shoot the ball. So we'll shoot the ball again by using a uh, double acting pneumatic cylinder. Then we'll operate this and again by using co compressed air and in that way we'll the ball. Then this ball will be pushed in between the rollers in this way. And so the ball will be in between the four rollers and like uh, during the seeker roll as well, it can adjust according to the instruction. Then it will shoot the Gori pile in that way. Thank you. Hello everyone. This is the r bot designed by the Robocon team of NIT Durgapur. This is the floor. This is the ball rack where the three balls are kept. This is the disc which needs to be picked up. This is the ball on head and this is the r bot the movement of the bot is achieved by the holonomic control of four wheeled omnidirectional drive now this bot consists of four mechanisms the ball picking mechanism the disc picking mechanism the ball passing mechanism and the anti interception mechanism now at first coming to the ball picking mechanism the balls in the rack are picked up by the help of grippers. Now the movement of this gripper is controlled by a double acting pneumatic cylinder which is in turn controlled by a 5 by 3 way valve. As we can see that the movement of the piston controls the opening and the closing of the gripper. On firmly holding the grip balls by the gripper, another set of pneumatic pistons help the ball picking mechanism arms to be raised up and the balls are raised till it reaches the ball storage rack. After that the grippers are set loose. This enables the balls to roll down the slope and fall into the respective slots. Now coming to the role of the ball passing mechanism. Now as you can see that all the three balls have been placed on their respective slots. After this the three balls needs to be passed on to the R1 bot which is the hidden bot. So for this the R2 bot is moved towards the R1 bot. Then the, then the gate is closed. The opening and closing of this gate is controlled by servo motors. The slope of the ball storage rack enables the ball to slope down and move on to the at one bot. After that, this gate is closed and the second gate separating the slot 1 from the slot 2 is opened. This enables the second ball to move on to the slot of the first ball. After that, this gate is all closed and the third gate separating the second slot from the third slot is opened. This enables the third ball to move on to the slot of the second ball. And this again closed. In this way, one by one, all the three balls is passed on to the R1 bot. Now comes the disc picking mechanism. The disc picking and stacking mechanism is achieved by two grippers moving on vertical rails. Now let's hide the other mechanisms for the better visibility of this disc picking mechanism. So, 
the setup of the two clippers. So this is the setup of the two clippers. The upper clipper, this is the upper clipper and this is the lower clipper. The entire setup can move up and down the vertical rail via a belt mechanism which is controlled, which is driven by a motor. So, at first, the entire setup is brought down for picking a small a smaller disc the upper gripper is lowered till it touches the ground the opening and the closing of the gripper are controlled by a rack and pinion mechanism The smaller disc, the gripper is brought closer to each other. The two jaws are brought closer to each other till they hold it tightly. Then the, the entire upper gripper setup is raised to a height of 205 millimeter with a 5 millimeter buffer space. 200 millimeter because the height of the another disc will be 200 millimeter. This raising of the upper gripper is done with the help of the pneumatic pistons. After that, the second gripper is made to touch the ground so that it can get hold of the next disc of the larger radius. After that, the jaws are again brought closer till they hold the disc firmly. After holding them firmly, the two gripper sets are raised up and moved on to the center of the arena where they need to be stacked up. Now coming to the anti-interception mechanism. In this mechanism, the ball on head placed on the ball holder is rotated on a circular platform. The holder has got caster wheels attached at its base. So these are the caster wheels which are attached at its base, which allows smooth motion of the plate on the platform. The setup is driven by a motor fixed at the center of the platform. The rotation of the ball on head reduces the probability of the ball being hit by the opponent team. Thank you.